Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are doing a series on the Islamic ethical code and the good qualities, the good attributes that a believing person must possess. Every believing person must analyze themselves and always try and improve. Um, in this series today we will talk about an attribute that Imam Ali al-Islam has described in one of his sermons. He says, Man hafara Whoever digs a well for his brother, drops in it himself. When you uh, try and create a problem for someone else, then you unfortunately will be um, uh, stuck in that problem or you will get that problem in, within your own life. So when you dig a hole, you may create a problem for someone, you will drop in it yourself. Imam al Islam is saying that there are two ways it will happen. Number one, as you sow, so shall you rise. Um, so when you um, plant a, 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 an apple tree, you will not get onions, you will get an apple. Um, so if you uh, are basically planting a, a problem for someone else, then Allah knows your intentions and you will uh, unfortunately face the consequences yourself. You will get into that problem yourself. Secondly, um, what happens is that many a times when you are planning negatively, you overlook, uh, you know, your plan is, it has flaws. You overlook many sides and uh, it will basically cause you the problem. You will um, at the end of it, uh, find yourself stuck with that problem that you were plotting against your own brother. When we say your brother, it can mean a brother in faith, a brother in your lineage, a brother in humanity. So any believing person, when you uh, try and cause problem for them, you will surely see the consequences yourself. So it is important that you don't try and cause problems for other people. What sort of problems do we try and cause for others? Um, there is another uh, tradition that says that if you try and cause one problem for your brother, you will see twice as many for yourself. So you try and fail a person in life, you will see double the failure in your own life. Sometimes you see success in the beginning and you think, ah, hang on, it's working. I'm making problems for that person, but I am in... Um, in goodness myself. What happens is Allah is giving you a chance in life and he suddenly pulls the rope and then you realize that the uh, that there is no flow for you to step on. You are suddenly uh, on the drop. So please do not ever plan for others but try and always pray for others uh, for good and try and if you can't help a person, if you can't um, plan something good for someone else, then don't make a, an evil plot for someone. Um, so if you can't do good, then don't do bad. If you can't be uh, nice, then don't be evil. And that's the motto in life. That's the, your uh, slogan in life that I will never ever try and harm another person. A believing person, uh, they say that uh, they're you know, qalilun uh, sharhu. Imam Ali Islam describes a believing person that their shar, their evilness, or their, uh, you know, the harm from them is very less. They, you know, they, they do obviously react sometimes, so they will may show you anger. But a believing person, they will they will have the least amount of uh, evilness. So the better they are, the less the evil from them. And the more the evil, the less they believe. So th this should be a practice in life. Don't try and um, make a plot for others uh, because you will have to uh, face the consequences. Sometimes not even in this world. God forbid if you see the consequences of your evil behavior in the hereafter. If you see the consequences in this world, then you have paid for it. But sometimes the consequences are to be paid in the hereafter. 
that will be very severe because it may be in your grave, it may be in the hellfire, it may be I don't know where. So how does one understand that this is uh, uh, a plot and not a plan? But a plot I mean is that uh, when you are uh, planning something evil against someone and sometimes you you satisfy yourself, well, this person deserves it or this person um, uh, has asked for it because of their bad behavior. If a person is harming you, then leave them. Don't follow them. Don't remain in their company. But revenge is something that you should leave for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person harms you, leave it for Allah. I have seen many times when you leave it for Allah, then Allah is the best of the reckoners. He is the best of, um, he takes the best revenge. You may be only able to harm a person very little. When you leave it for Allah, then Allah makes that person pay back very, uh, very much. They will have to pay back for whatever evil a person does. Many times um, you think, well, this person hasn't paid for what they have done. Well, they will pay for it uh, in this world and the hereafter. Certain sins you only pay for them. In this world, certain sins you only pay for them in the hereafter. Certain sins you pay for them in this world and the hereafter. So sometimes, you know, people harm you and they will see the consequences. You don't know if they are going through those consequences or not. Sometimes you can't see it, but they are going through those consequences. So never ever plan evil for other people. Um, one of the other things is to remember that when you are planning negatively, then you have uh, given up the 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 goodness in your own life you have given up the um, you know the uh, f positive planning in your life and positiveness is extremely important when you are becoming negative then you are giving up your own life and you're only thinking and focusing on the other person I want to harm them I want to destroy this person I want to um, uh, uh, you know take away their good life that it, what, is, it, what it is doing is, it is taking away all of those good things from you. You are not now planning your own life. You're not taking your own life forward. You're not um, defending your own life in a positive way. You are now destroying the life of another person and by that, you're destroying yourself. So Imam Islam is saying that when you dig a hole for, another, for your brother, you will be placing it in yourself. So when you're planning negatively for another person, because you forget about yourself, you are destroying your own life. You're not only just destroying another person's life, but you're destroying your own. And who knows if you will be successful in destroying the life of another person. But you do know that you will destroy your own life because you are now giving up everything in your own life to plan for another person. Spend that time planning for yourself. Don't just plan for another person, but plan for yourself. Uh, one other thing that it does is that when you're planning to destroy another person, it brings in the negative energy. It uh, makes you only think negatively. It only makes you do negative things. So even in your own life, you may be, uh, when you're planning something negative about another person, you may be negative to your own wife, uh, to your own brothers and sisters, you're negative to your own children, you're negative to your own parents, without realizing, because you think, uh, I am um, uh, uh, basically and at the moment planning negative about the other brother, um, another person. But you, what you're doing is, as a consequence, you are uh, destroying your own self, you're destroying your own life, you're destroying your own family. The ones that you love, you're also destroying things for them uh, without realizing, without knowing. So it is extremely important that you do tell yourself that I need to focus on myself. Even if they were doing bad to you, you need to make sure that you don't allow them to do bad to you because uh, it may be um, that you have, they have uh, now uh, diverted you. Don't be diverted by a negative person. Be focused on your own life positively. The greatest answer to your enemies is to remain positive in your own life, focus in your own life and work positively in your own life. If they did not wish for you to have something, 
you uh, make a new plan to have something positive in your own life. Finally, I would like to say that um, how can you protect yourself from the planning of other people? Keep your relationship with God on a very good. Then because they may plan something neg negative against you, but if God does not wish for them to succeed, they will not succeed. So if your relationship with God is good, everything will work your way. Um, Imam al Islam says, I have seen many people plan, but they are not successful in their plans. And that's how I have recognized God. When I see people plan, and they're not successful in their own plans. So they plan and they fail. But God plans and He is successful. Keep your relationship with God really good. Pray on time. And don't uh, plan negative things about people. When God sees that you are, your relationship with God is good and your uh, feelings and your intentions for His creation is good, He will not allow the other people to destroy your life. Even if they think that they are destroying your life, they will not be able to. So remain positive and be successful. Success comes through uh, self-belief and, um, and, and positive intentions. Do not plan negative for other people because that destroys your life. It, wastes your time. You are wasting your own time through planning negative things about other people. So I uh, uh, pray that we all learn from the lives of the Imams Ali Musalam. Their enemies did so much against them. Today all of their enemies are finished, dead and uh, lost. But the names of the Ahlul Bayt Ali Musalam still remains high. Thank you very much for listening.